Okay, so uh, as far as languages go, first let's uh, quickly take a look at how we can set up VS Code for the best uh, possible use cases when we're doing front-end web development, that is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, uh, when we are creating front-end pages, okay? So uh, first of all, let me just do an open, and uh, this is uh, a general advice for all uh, languages that you're using. Uh, always uh, open one folder at a time. So when you are working on one project, so for example, I have this VS Code usage uh, folder inside which there is a C++ project, there is a front-end project. Uh, so don't open a folder like this uh, or don't open a folder like one of these open always the exact project that you're going to be working on so i'm going to be working on the front end project so we'll just open that uh, if you want to be working on two three projects in parallel together open two three different vs code windows and open one project each in one of them don't open uh, one vs code window and open like your entire my documents folder or your entire computer in that vs code will run very slowly and you will get confused which files you have open uh, in that case okay so let me just open this uh, folder and uh, as you can see this is uh, an HTML file, a simple JS file, and a CSS file. Okay, so this HTML file, if you want to just open and preview in your browser, what you would be doing is uh, usually right click and uh, you know uh, open it in your Explorer or your Finder, and you can double click here, and it will then uh, open up inside your you know browser somewhere like this. Uh, okay. Uh, this would be the path on which it's open like that and it'll get open. Uh, something that's uh, better than this is uh, you can go and install extensions. So I will be telling you a couple of extensions which are gonna make your life really easy when you're working with uh, front-end development uh, with, you know, uh, VS Code. So go to the extensions tab and uh, we'll search for some extensions and what you can do with every search is uh, write. So for example, I'm gonna be writing uh, HTML and write at the rate sort installs which means it is going to be sorting uh, the extensions uh, based on the number of installs so descending order which means it's going to be showing me the most popular extensions for html that people generally download and uh, one of them is prettier i'm not going into prettier right now it's a formatting extension but there is live server so live server is uh, the second most popular extension it's a really popular extension and uh, why is it popular it's because uh, i'll just install it and i will show you what it does okay so uh, this is uh, definitely must have uh, extension for you called uh, live server by Ritwik Day. Uh, definitely install that. Now we have live server installed. What you can do is you can uh, press Ctrl Shift P, open that command window, and you can start type live server. And there's this option called open with live server. So if you open with live server like this, uh, what happens? It it opens in a browser like this. The uh, best thing is uh, this page uh, when you have opened it uh, from your explorer like this. Uh, what happens is if you make any uh, changes here, for example, uh, you add a h3 tag. Uh, sorry, let's say, and you make some changes. You save this file. You know you have to come here. You have to refresh this file, or you have to go open it from your explorer again. Uh, with uh, if you have live server, what happened is that as you can see, uh, it has gotten already updated in the second tab. If you make some changes, you remove this line, you know, uh, and save the file so when it's a dot like this here it's a big circle it means it's unsaved when you save it it uh, goes away okay so in that that way you can see when your file is saved and when it's not so as soon as you save it uh, it automatically reflects the changes here so basically when you open live server you don't have to keep refreshing your website on your browser you can keep making changes here and it will all get refreshed so in fact you can also do is uh, uh, take your uh, text editor here and let's say I uh, just snap it to my window here and I snap this window to my left here and I can uh, you know keep making uh, changes like this here uh, so if I have you know h3 hello world I save and there you go it's automatically reflected so it's a pretty nice way to be able to you know uh, code uh, live here on the right side and you know see the changes happening on the left side automatically okay uh, so there's also uh, you can say control shift uh, p and there's a zen mode so if you go to the zen mode then you can just edit uh, text uh, just in your editor and all your you know left right extensions and all they all go away and uh, you know you can uh, just toggle back from uh, the zen mode back so if you're on the Zen mode, then all these uh, extensions, uh, they all get hidden and it's only the code that you are seeing in that case. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So apart from that, uh, let me just uh, go back to the way we're editing here and uh, let's talk about a couple of more extensions. So uh, there are these uh, tags as well. Uh, if you just uh, look at this auto rename tag and uh, there is an auto close tag okay um, so auto close tag is already installed for me so auto rename tag and auto close tag by yoon han and auto close uh, tag also by yoon han 
these two are really uh, useful uh, extensions and I will tell you why. So with auto close tag what happens is that if you type a tag like you know uh, I, I type a uh, you know div div and as soon as I uh, put the uh, right side bracket here you'll notice that the closing side of div automatically gets created for me okay so uh, that's that's good whenever you make a tag the closing side automatically gets uh, created for you that's what uh, the auto uh, uh, close tag does auto rename tag does is if you take any front side of the tag and uh, rename it to p automatically the other side also becomes p so if you make any changes on this side it automatically will reflect on that side so that's very useful you don't have to type it over and over again on both sides uh, or both the sides get replaced automatically very useful extension okay and uh, finally uh, so for example in my css i have a class called uh, text red for example and if i write here class and uh, you know uh, if i write text red here uh, whichever I will give class text red in whichever file uh, that particular uh, file is uh, going to turn into red in color uh, if uh, uh, I have that okay so let me just uh, I think uh, the class name oh sorry my class name is a little mistake uh, there you go. this is my class name and it has become red in color now if I uh, try to add a class name somewhere else uh, you know uh, uh, if I have never used a class name before, uh, so for example, uh, text blue, and uh, if I start writing text, you don't get text blue as autocomplete here because uh, VS Code by default does not know which CSS file to do autocomplete from. That's where you can search for CSS in your extensions, and uh, you will find that uh, there is uh, IntelliSense for CSS. So IntelliSense for CSS, uh, if you install this extension, again, a great extension by uh, ZigND, I think is probably the best way to pronounce his name, ZigND, uh, IntelliSense for CSS. Uh, if you have that, uh, in that case, uh, you would see this button at the bottom that gets created, which uh, if you click on that, CSS uh, classes, you click on that, it will uh, basically uh, learn all your CSS classes in your current folder. And then if you start typing, you know, uh, text like this, see, you get autocomplete. You get autocomplete for all the CSS classes that you have. Okay. So if you have like a text uh, green also, uh, text. Uh, in your code, when you're, uh, you know, uh, giving these classes, uh, as soon as you write class, uh, you see uh, you've got your if you just so every time you open your uh, workspace you make changes to CSS uh, you can just click on this button and uh, then you know everywhere you will get proper autocomplete for CSS so you can get great autocomplete for CSS if you use this uh, extension and uh, things will be colored like this okay so there are of course a bunch of other extensions as well when you're doing front-end web development uh, and they are uh, pretty useful but I think these ones are uh, really really useful uh, useful ones which uh, you can you know uh, use uh, when you're doing basic web development just to get started with and uh, these will make your speed of development really really faster okay